from INEC abolishing the use of incidents form to the court blacklisting Rivers APC, from why the army invaded daily trust offices to who takes charge of the APC presidential campaign council. Did Buari order the arrest of Amaju Penick? Plus business, entertainment, and sports stories. You're welcome to Roots TV Top 10 News. I am Aisha Jabrin. The Independent National Electoral Commission has abolished the use of incidents form for the 2019 general elections. The commission says only card readers will be used for accreditation in the elections. INEC added that the commission has recorded the largest voter registration in the world as 84 million Nigerians have been registered to vote in the general elections. A federal high court in Portakot on Monday restrained the Independent National Electoral Commission from recognizing any candidate of the All Progressive Congress for governorship, Senate, House of Representatives and House of Assembly general elections in River State. The Nigerian Army says it invaded the offices of Daily Trust newspapers in Meiduguri and Abuja to invite the organization's journalists responsible for the publication of a classified military operation plan. The Army added that the disclosure of such classified information by the newspaper undermined national security. The Nigerian Air Force says the Air Tax Force of Operation Lafia Duli has destroyed some Islamic State of West Africa province gun trucks in airstrikes conducted near Damascus in northern Borno. The troops immobilized three of them while causing significant damage to others and neutralizing several terrorists. President Mahmoud Dubari inaugurates the All Progressive Congress Campaign Council and asks Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu, the co-chairman of the council, to take full charge of the campaign. The president deployed the leadership of the party to resist being provoked, remain focused and civil in their campaigns. The presidency says Buhari, who is the leader of the All Progressive Congress and its presidential candidate in the forthcoming general elections, will campaign for the party and all its candidates. This was in response to media inquiries over the hosting of Ogun State governorship candidates of the Allied People's Movement, Abdul Kadri Adikunle Akinladi. The presidency has described as fake news a press release in circulation to the effect that President Mohamed Buhari has ordered the arrest and prosecution of Amaju Penek, the president of Nigerian Football Federation. The federal government has commenced the 2019 savings bond sales by offering the full subscription two-year savings bond at 12.12% and three-year savings bond at 13.12%. Debt Management Office revealed the two-year bond will be due in January 2021, while the three-year bond will be due in January 2022. Music star Bonaboy's mom and ex-manager trail the crowd at the Sound City MVP Awards Festival with her speech while receiving awards on the son's behalf. The Afrobeat singer enjoyed a huge night picking up four awards, including the prestigious African Artist of the Year. For best male MVP goes to Burna Boy. The athletes under the Ondo State Sports Council protest a 16 month unpaid allowance by the state government. The athletes locked the gates of the Sports Council, carried placards and different description. The Commissioner for Youth Development and Sports says the money for the payment of eight months allowance has been approved by the government last December. For more news updates, follow social media handles as displayed on your screen. And that's it on Roots TV Top 10 News today. I am Aisha Jabrin.